hello, welcome to my apartment. Okay, so we walk in, this is our front sitting room here. We don't spend that much time in here, but this is just what we walk into a nice welcome area. We always usually like to keep the windows open for the light and to air the house out because the weather here is still beautiful and really warm. And we don't like to always have the air on, so we always like to have the fresh air coming in. It does get loud sometimes when the cars driving by and people talking, but we don't mind. There's actually not much to this room. It's just a welcome area. It's nice, minimal. And then going this way, so this room is our bedroom. To start off with, we have Stella's bed here, a nice dresser. These are just kind of like knickknacks. I brought just small things we can decorate with. I don't know if they're going to stay here or not, but they're here for now. And some books Stella brought and our change holder because most places when we're staying don't take card, so it's all cash, so we make sure we have to have change in us a lot. And then we have a gigantic wardrobe here. It's very big, plenty of space for both of us. Some nice nightstands that have drawers. So we each get two. Then my bed. This is supposed to look like two swans. I made it, but I don't know how good of a job I did. When we first arrived here, they were here. It was like a nice welcoming touch. So I just tried replicating it. But I don't think I did a good of a job. But yes, yeah, so this is my bed. My two nightstands. I kind of just have some seashells. I brought from Florida. And then we yeah, have some shoes over there I have, I keep out. So there aren't any windows in the bedroom, but I do love this. Like, that's beautiful. And I love the ceilings. If you notice, it's rounded. construction stuff in it from when the house was being remodeled and rebuilt. I didn't really use this closet for anything. It's definitely big enough for storage. It has a little light that doesn't work apparently. So then in here is the bathroom that we do actually use. We have the toilet, the shower. An interesting fact about the shower is that it leaks in a spot at the bottom. So when we shower, we do have to like lay a towel down. There also aren't that many places to like put our toiletries. So we kind of just use this window and just put everything there. The cool thing about this is I can pause directly. And it takes you directly outside, but we rarely open that, you know, because it's the bathroom window. This is also kind of nice because when you're putting makeup on, you can just open both of these windows and shutters and you've got like the direct light hitting you and you know, you can see everything. Moving along, this 
the two rooms that we spent the most time in, the kitchen slash eating area and the living room. Starting with the kitchen, we don't have that much like cabinet space or shelves or anything. So we just leave our dishes out here. I put a few glasses there as well, and then our espresso. I like to keep things that like we're using all the time readily available. We have our little espresso maker here. When we asked our landlord if there was like a place nearby where we could buy like a coffee maker or an espresso machine, they showed us the place, and then we ended up just buying this little machine, and they're like, oh, that's cute. It's like the typical Sicilian style espresso maker. We have our sink. My favorite thing about this sink is that we have this here. It's kind of like the drying rack, so we didn't actually need to buy one. Came built in. An old truck going up. It sounds like it's struggling. So over here, we just have our produce that we've bought. We keep most of it in the refrigerator, but the stuff that, you know, can stay out, we keep here. This here is our gas, which we have to turn on every time we cook and turn off when we're done. That gets to be annoying, but oh well. Moving on to the eating area. As you saw in our last video, these are the lemons that our cousin slash neighbor gave to us. They make a great centerpiece. This is our breakfast that we have not touched yet. Kind of looking forward to that, which we will, you know, eat after this video. That refrigerator there is the refrigerator that's supposed to go in the apartment upstairs that our landlord was supposed to take out about a week ago, which he has not done yet. So we're going to message him and ask him when he'll get rid of that refrigerator. Once again, my absolute favorite part of this house is that these windows and shutters just open and we never even need the lights on just because the sunlight is coming directly in. I mean, unless it's a rainy day. originally was the centerpiece on our kitchen table when we arrived. We switched it out for the lemons and we just put it here. Stella's sunglasses, Stella's art, and we have some table mats, tablecloth in there, and another place just to put stuff. Thank you for watching and don't forget to 